While smartphone photography is getting better all the time, it simply can't match the quality and versatility of a standalone camera, especially if it's a DSLR, a digital single lens reflex model, or a mirrorless compact system camera. Even if you don't have a huge budget, you can still treat yourself to a stellar prosumer camera. Hey everyone, welcome to Gear Up, the Watch Mojo series that looks at the latest in gadgets, gear, and games. I'm Mark Saltzman. In this video, we'll look at five recommended starter DSLRs and compact system cameras, also referred to as Micro Four Thirds cameras. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. All right, not listed in any particular order, number one, the Nikon D3400. At under $500 for the body only, the Nikon D3400 offers a lot of bang for the buck. With the same design as last year's model, hey, if it ain't broke, why fix it? The sturdy D3400 feels great in your hands and a little lighter than the Nikon 3300. Plus, it features a 24.4 megapixel sensor, an APS-C CMOS sensor, a boost in battery performance, and the addition of SnapBridge, which is Nikon's Bluetooth-based solution for wirelessly transferring photos from your camera to your phone. Other features include 1080p HD video recording at 60 frames per second, Nikon's Guide Mode, a helpful guide on the 3-inch screen for beginners to understand photography features like ISO and f-stop, and of course, there's support for multiple Nikon lenses. Some downsides? No microphone port, no touchscreen, and limited autofocus features. But it's still a great beginner DSLR from Nikon. Number 2, the Canon Rebel T6i. While the T7i is newer and a great pick for beginners as well, the slightly older T6i for $749, body only, is more than enough for your first DSLR. Between its APS-C CMOS sensor with 24.2 megapixel resolution, an ISO from 100 to 12800 and expandable even higher, it'll help you produce beautiful images. The 19-point autofocus system and high-speed continuous shooting will help make novice users feel like a pro shutterbug. Other features worth noting, Full HD 1080p video recording, a 3-inch articulating touchscreen, and built-in NFC and Wi-Fi to easily pair and share your images. It's $150 more than the Nikon D3400, but worth the extra cash, especially if you have Canon lenses, such as a telephoto, macro, or wide-angle option. The low-light performance isn't the best, though, and battery life is a little behind the other cameras in this roundup, but overall, a solid pick from Canon. The third DSLR ideal for beginners, and one that won't break the bank, the Pentax K70. At $600 for the body only, the Pentax K70 is also a 24.2 megapixel camera with APS-C CMOS sensor. It's got multiple ISO settings and an 11-point autofocus system. But this entry-level DSLR boasts a dustproof and weather-resistant body. Plus, the Very Angle LCD monitor with night vision red light display helps you see and analyze what you're shooting, or you can use the viewfinder, of course, while integrated in-body shake reduction and motion correction will help minimize blur in your photos and videos. Like the Nikon model, Pentax's K70 can also shoot Full HD video at 60 frames per second. On the connectivity front, there's built-in Wi-Fi for use with the ImageSync app. The burst shooting mode doesn't live up to the other cameras we've discussed, but it's decent enough. Now let's finish off with two mirrorless or compact system cameras. Number four, Sony's Alpha A5000. Capture memories with a premium camera, but without the premium price. At under $500, the super small Sony Alpha A500 mirrorless camera with 16 to 50 millimeter zoom lens included delivers DSLR quality in a compact form factor. Plus, this 20.1 megapixel camera features integrated Wi-Fi connectivity to instantly share your images with the world via a nearby smartphone. With high picture quality and sharp HD videos, thanks in part to the A5000's large APS-C image sensor, this camera also has fast autofocusing, smart image stabilization, a 180-degree 3-inch tiltable LCD, and support for multiple lenses. While it's awesome that you do get a lens in this kit and it's still under $500, some downsides of the Alpha A5000 include relatively slow burst speeds, a non-touch LCD, and no 60p video recording. And the number 5 DSLR, or in this case, mirrorless camera, is the Panasonic Lumix G7. Slightly larger and heavier than the Sony Alpha A5000 mirrorless camera, the Panasonic Lumix G7 offers a responsive touchscreen, 
4K video recording, burst mode that supports 30 photos per second, and more options when it comes to lenses. This easy to use 16 megapixel camera also features fast and precise subject tracking and autofocus, and the ability to capture high quality images in low light conditions with an amazing ISO of up to 25600. And with most of the models in this roundup, the Panasonic Lumix G7 supports Wi-Fi sharing, so you can upload to social media or the cloud. So what do you think of our picks for top DSLR cameras and mirrorless compact system cameras? Let us know in the comments section, especially if you own one of these models. Thanks for watching Gear Up. I'm Mark Saltzman. For more Techtastic lists, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Ciao for now. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.